Artist in Recovery. Yeah, you've got to hear this one here. You talk about your wild ass stories. 10.50 in the morning, West Coast time. Uh, March 21st, 2024, Thursday. Try this story that popped out here yesterday. Set the scene up on this one here, my friend. Daryl, have you ever seen the 1970 movie Airport? A little old beady made a sting on this one. Helen Hayes. You'd never suspect this old lady would be oh, the glue that holds this film together. <laughs> a little old beady stowaway in this airplane movie that wanted to travel but she'll do it round trip one way or another to see somebody in New York. In order to do that, you have to do a round trip flight, or almost, to Europe or Spain or wherever the kind of foreign country it was, overseas, and then come back. Italy. It was Rome. It was the city that she was going to go, stay in the plane, makes a return trip, and she be some, see somebody up in New York. She loves to travel. But on a fixed income that she had she couldn't have possibly afford a ticket so she gets this paperwork and she's been doing it for a hell of a long while her her has been in a movie uh, referred you know that she referred to all these techniques and the people in charge of this fictional airline uh, at the airport were having a conniption fit over this one they're they're like Fantastic. We still want to take the stuff away from you. Pissed off one of the representatives over there. I mean, she, God. <laughs> Love interest to uh, to the main character. I mean, it's a hell of a movie. A complicated, convoluted, comedy, drama. This was a movie that you had to watch, dude. If you can find it on cable, if you can find it on, on streaming services, watch the damn thing. I've got it. I love it. I've seen so much of it. Some of it, yeah, but when it deal, deals with Helen Hayes, this is the girl that you watch out for. This is the old biddy. Keep this in mind, because there's techniques that she's done that's translatable to the story I'm about to reveal again. Uh, on the Delta flight that was going to be happening, there's this 26-year-old Texas man who took pictures of Delta passengers' tickets to sneak onto a flight, prosecutor said. According to the news article, a man, uh, man was arrested after... Okay, that's bullet points I made on here. So, let me read you the story of this one here. Hold on to your horses. A man was arrested in Salt Lake City on Sunday after boarding a Delta Air uh, flight without, without his own tiki Got on a plane by using a photo of another passenger's boarding pass, prosecutors say. Wycliffe Yves Florizad, a 26-year-old Texas man, facing one felony charge of stowaway on a vessel or aircraft, according to a complaint filed in the U.S. District Court in Utah on Monday. <laughs> if found guilty, he's fined and imprisoned for up to five years, according to sentence guidelines. Surveillance footage showed that uh, he was taking photos, I'm paraphrasing here, multiple passenger forms and uh, the boring passes on them when they're not looking. Including a minor girl's ticket. He got on the flight using his phone as a boarding pass. Uh, the gate entrance typically do not check identification at boarding for domestic flights. He's at least a third known passenger to board a flight in the U.S. and U.K., Without a valid ticket this year. That meant that Helen Hayes had a. Last month, a woman ducked security and took an American flight from Nashville to LA without a ticket. She was detained by FBI for questioning, but no charges were filed. Yeah, I wonder if she was like Helen Hayes, I wonder. <laughs> Early in February, a man boarded a plane to Copenhagen without a ticket at London's Gatewick Airport. Second such incident in such two months at uh, London Airport. He was removed from the plane before takeoff. Oh, darn shame. In the recent, L in the recent Salt Lake incident, uh, Florizard 
boarded the plane and went to the laboratory at the front where he stayed until the flight doors were secured for takeoff. Per the federal complaint, he then made his way to a laboratory in the back of the plane. And when he exited the bathroom, a flight attendant noticed that there were no seats available on the plane. Whoops. He was caught after giving the attendant a false seat number, and since he was not authorized to be on the plane, the, return, the plane returned to the boarding gate. It never did make takeoff, and that did it. He was escorted off the plane and met by law enforcement. He told him he was visiting Utah for a snowboarding trip, and he needed to get home to see his family. He said he had a Southwest Airlines buddy pass, a free or heavily discounted ticket employees can share with friends and family. The guy told police he was trying to get on to two flights earlier of Southwest, but were full. <coughs> so he admitted he made a mistake and only trying to get it home. He did not respond to comments or requests for comments, and his defense attorney has not yet been listed in court documents. But he is cooperating with law enforcement and relevant federal agencies. Now, you're wondering how come I'm having such a wonderful time on this one. Said before, watch the movie Airport. And you'll probably get the reason, reason why I have this thing going on. You're talking about a scam like crazy at this point over here. I swear, if some of the other people have seen the other movies, they pick up the ideas and this shit happens over here. I'm wondering what kind of history this guy has with the airline industries. I wonder how the prosecutors are going to find out about this kid if he's actually been doing this thing on a constant basis. If they could verify his story and maybe he made the mistake. No, he made the choice. He didn't make the mistake. He made the choice. He got on the damn airplane thinking he could sneak his way on there. He made the choice. He did a hell and haze on this damn thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh I'm... If it was legitimate for this guy to do what he was going to do, I mean, this buddy pass thing on Southwest, nobody over in Southwest could help them out? See, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Nobody could help this out again with the Southwest uh, customer service line? Mm. Oh, boy. Scam! It's airport all over again. 1970. It's equated to 2024. Ha, 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 ha.